Hello everyone and welcome back to Pancake Plays Europa Universalis for the third Rome expansion. We are back with Russian expansion. And we wait for the Renaissance. Where do I find that? Yes, in here. Attack penalty is pretty high. Need about mm, 200 more ducats. And its price will decrease as more of our provinces get flipped. So we can continue playing on. What's the next most likely province? Okay, uh, let's go around. Go back to this map mode. Nets and Novgorod's been at it for a while, but they're not going anywhere. Coralia is going up pretty far. Hmm. Don't think we own Tula. Think that's our border. You'll be there pretty soon. Show superiority against the Lithuanians. Okay. After all, the Lithuanians did end up breaking free of Poland, even if only slightly, and the Teutonic Order has grown. I think they're going to be a strong power for years to come. What's left? Just have it on fairly decent speed. Lithuania, liberate Smolensk. What? I liberate it from you. What are you talking about? So they'll be coming after me. I, luckily enough, I still have my ally of Ryazan who would defend me. Add another 11 stack to that fight. I've lost most of my vassals. That is true. Kazan is my next target, however. Call through arms. The Ryazanian conquest of Boris Balik. Hmm. Yeah, preparing call of the arms from them. Well, I'll accept. It looks like we're going to war with Kazan anyway. You march straight to the capital. You keep going. You stay where you are. We'll just work with what we got. Is my leader... You know, you are not siege. So give the army to... Good guy. Well, decent guy. Streltsky army will be led by the king, by the Kanaz. Just hold. <clears throat> hmm. What to do? How about anything that is proper territory? Hmm. Beskov, take that. Odiev, take that. Try to cut off the Ryazanian expansion. More nobility in the army. Army tradition. With the increased privileges of the aristocracy come additional duties. A new, a true nobleman is expected to serve in the army as an officer and gentleman. Good for them. Muscovy has captured some place. That is fine. Just hold here for now. Hmm. Do we have a fort anywhere near here? No, not really. Alright. Our men are going to sit on the capital. You come around. Two of a kind. Our Queen Anna has impressed many men and women at the court in her sharp wit and extensive knowledge of natural world. She has long been a collector of tomes and botany and chemistry. She corresponds with several of the generation's brightest minds. Currently, one of the scientists are visiting the court to appear our queen's invitation. Uh, hmm. Gain a skill three, natural scientist, advisor, this advisor 50% cheaper for our employ. Uh, just go even harder and get me more points. More free points. You go up there. Why not? Just suffer casualties for no reason. Then fall back to Pensa, where we can hold. Any of the former Golden Horde territory can just go and fuel rise, and I'm fine with that. In fact, if you don't mind us just pushing and blocking off any Ryzenian effort, I'd be perfectly fine with that. You there? You're about to take that siege? Good. <clears throat> 
That's our, in that case, you'll be the fighting army against that stack of Kazanians. Ah, uh, dang, that went to uh, Ryazan. Anything we take, do not give back, please. Thank you. Uh, how about just, you know, just keep going. Just keep taking anything you got. <clears throat> Odiev. Oh. You there, go there. Oh, they're sieging down Odiev, huh? Let's hold and rise in. A revolt! It's about time that popped up. Well, they're going to do their thing. That's fine for now. Hmm. They have quite a large army, but so do I. I don't have any cannon, and I believe they do. They have two cannon. That would be a long ways away. Although they are coming in. Let's wait for them to be one province away, then we spring on them. Capture all the things. That's just gonna have to fall to my rebels. Yeah, years of separatism, benign neglect. It seems to the government that governs the least governs the best, as far as those outside the capital are concerned. Our non-involvement has proven beneficial, and the local economy is booming. They can get thing. They can do things on their own. Local trade power for the next um, five years. If it moves, tax it. Local tax modifier. If it moves, draft it. Well, we're pretty close to our maximum. So if it moves, tax it for more money. And this war, this battle is going to be costly to me. Norway has claimed Kola. Costly to me, but we have at least won it. All right, now fall back. We we have rebels to deal with. Odiev is going to be up in the north, claiming more provinces for the glorious Muscovy. We have occupied that province. Good, good, Anakin. Good. Let's see. If I go to my own country and go to my diplomatic needs, yeah, I'm saying, hey, I want all of this. I want all of that. Please. Thank you, please. Hmm. Maybe give this to Pascov. Wow, they did not think that through. Those. They did not think that one through. Ah, now the fight is going into Crimea. See, I'm okay with Ryzen expanding here. It appears that we are a naive enthusiast. Improved relations is down. Yeah, I think that fits his character. We're so... Uh, we've occupied Vedasuvar. Oh uh, no, ah uh, hell no. War is 20% in our favor. Ah uh, yes, I should be t making cores. Core all the things. Probably focus down coring. Oh, our colony has been struck by Roman fever. The illness has struck our colony at Tickenburg. It is so devastating that there is serious risk of our colony may disappear. The natives seem immune, but our colonists are dying daily. Local settler increase. Hmm. Send someone to organize. Even though it does cost me points, I shall send someone. We've occupied another province. Keep occupying. It can be up to them, even though they're failing miserably. Because <clears throat> we have rebels to deal with right now. And we'll just finish up this fort siege, it's fine. I do not want to have to attack into the mountains, though it looks like they are running away. I'm just gonna go into another province, yeah, that's fine. Be someone else's rebels, huh? So Kazan is coming back. Let's meet them with our own fourth, shall we? The army of Streltskis. 
until our regular army can come back. And it looks like our rebels are just gonna chill out in someone else's territory. I'm perfectly fine with that. Yep. Attack them. Ah, good. My Strelsky shall bring the bacon. Regiment strength depleting. Flanking rage. Discovered an agent from Sweden now. Get out of the mountains. Just, uh, ah, here they come. They're gonna be there on the 8th. Native Uprising. Oh no. But we've handled it just fine. And there goes our army. Now we can march to... What's their capital? Crimea? Alright. Keep pushing forward. No, not where they go. Oh damn, we are destroyed after that battle. Fall back. Take what we can. Rebels have been dealt with. Use our proper army and move forward. Ah, there's no... Try to take Bamut so they can't actually expand anywhere important. Just be a dick. Good, 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 Anakin. The Streltsky can fall back. They've done their service. And they are quite, quite upset about it. Bamut. Hmm. What could we do? Just by ourselves. Take Kazan? Coalition may be formed against us with Kazan and Nogai. Take this up the north. Take all their things. No, oh, that would actually be 100%. Unfortunately, we don't have 100%. So now I'm basically done with this war. My involvement, at least. I have no more need of it. You head back to Moskva. You keep up this colony. Hmm. 25, new settler 15. You know, if that colony is so bad, let us split up this force, send one into Plym, and send our colonists up there. Alright. Pull back the army to anywhere, really. Leave it up to the vassals for now. I wanted to attack Kazan myself, looks like the, the birth of colonialism. Of course, right before we even get Renaissance, colonialism happens. The discovery of the New World has heralded a new era not only for the colonizers and the colonized. This is le this has led to a spread of materials and techniques as well as the realization of a vast size of the globe. Animals, crop types, silver, and diseases spread across the Atlantic. The first steps have been taken towards a truly global economy. As foreign lands of people have mapped and documented ideas as well as religious and philosophical debate has become more and more colored by what we've found in the overseas societies. Great minds feel the need to question what was once truth, and from Valladolid to Fatar Sikri, the nature of the world is now up for debate. This changes everything. Countries that have not fully embraced the colonial institution receive more tech costs. Yay! I could take the local nobility. How's my... Ah, I'm okay with that. Local nobility it is. Aristocratic V is advanced. Because then we get serfdom, and that's huge for our national manpower. Golden arrow from them. Tech, how we doing? I need more people to switch. Need more provinces to switch. I think then next would be what? Tizzy... Plum and Tizzy Novak, most likely. Oh, nope. Inga Minland first. We'll switch by 1501. 1504. You're going to be 1501. 1501. 1504. Yeah, that's about what I expect. Spend some time coring again. Hmm. Golden Era. 
Let's go after this army. You know, while we're out and about... Well, where is this guy going? Let's make sure no one gets stacked wipe around here. Ah, seems like you have gone to war with Crimea! Well, that's great. I'd like to just get out of this war. What are we spending on? Forts, probably. And colonies. A military leader has left us. That was probably the siege guy. At least the guy I was using for the siege. March forward with Alexander Balkele. And we're crushing them. That leaves basically it all open to Lithuania. Unfortunate for the Crimeans. Just fall back, we're done here. At least we are. So you have organized colony, local settler increase minus 10. Arctic makes it harder. Complaints about bailiff. Execute them or lose stability. Execute. We can use the Russian ability, but I don't really want to. We don't have that kind of manpower. Build things, now I need the money. And I'm not making the money. Timurids have a civil war. Uh, let's mothball this fort. Where's that button? Ah, there it is. That button down. I've grown that button down. Turn off Luki as well. You're probably fine without it. Just fall back and enjoy ourselves. Or take a fight against the Kazani army. Not that they're even able to keep going, considering how badly they've been defeated. Let's see. When it comes to institutions, you have... What? Inga Midlands already happened. Mosax already happened. E hmm. I thought that would take longer. Yeah, mothballed forts, that's fine. Because now there is a new colony, and it's happened in Portugal! Native civilization in Sarav. Okay, well let's see what it would take to make this happen. Nearby friendly province has colonialism. Port capital... Port or capital of country with a new world colonial nation. Well, shit, I can't have any of that. Port neighboring colonialism, nearby friendly province with colonialism. Well, none of those I can really get. So, crap. Here they come, and there they go. Stacked wipe. I really just kind of want to leave this war, if that's fine. If that's at all possible. Renaissance? Maybe. I only got a couple minutes left in this episode, and I don't think I'm going to be able to make that much money by then. Faster. Lax provinces, good. Finish that up. Build improvements, Russian ability. Huh. They're starting to do things again. Go back down. I want this war to end, please. If I ended this war, Ryzen would get their shit kicked in. And I, for the most part, don't want that to happen. Papal states. Yeah, just keep going. Keep walking around. Gonna have to end the episode soon. self casualties. Hmm. But that seems fine. How we doing? It'll take 500. Do I have inflation or something? 
Eight of Uprising, that's fine. Hey, we can purchase an ability. Uh, cavalry armies, approve war taxes, transfer subjects, certified war goals. Might as well. And with that, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!